All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play and some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 5. So the day ended, I ended the day, and uh, it started a new chapter, and the chapter is called Yusei as Prisoner, you know, who cares, fucking Yusei. So, of course, it's the next day in the morning, and here is Akiza all up in my room. Let's go, all right? Uh, you already know what happened, you already know what went down between the last video and this video. Oh, I, I couldn't show it, because, you know. It's too mature. The content's too mature. But you, it, it, come on. Uh, all right. All right. Anyway, uh, Akiza, you will. How can you be sleeping at a time like this? I mean, it it was so good, and I just I did so much work that I just you know I just slept. You know, <laughs> get up. All right. Something awful's happened. It's you say. Like, why do you think about another man? Uh, you say he's been abducted. Oh my God! It happened so suddenly without a single trace left behind. Please, people. Please come and find Yusei, please! My introduction tells me something terrible is going to happen. We need to get out there and search right away. Okay, so... Yusei has gone missing, and it looks like we have something here at the combat lane. So, uh, since the last episode, I tweaked my deck a little bit. Like I said, we got so many good cards from that pack that I just had to edit my deck, you know? So, uh, definitely more towards equipping now. Uh, less battle-esque traps, more equipping spells, so I summon a big beater, equip it with a, you know, quit spell, and it comes a bigger beater, you know? So, I'm gonna be, so, you know, having some strong-ass monsters, and this, you know, uh, kind of helmet-ass, kind of oldest Yu-Gi-Oh! It's not too old, like, since at least the sinker mechanic, but still, you know, yeah, beaters. I can even equip the fucking Akitsu monsters, they're shitty-ass monsters, make them decent. So, this is the guy who was last seen in. Isn't that right, Crow? <laughs> yeah, we were to Gathered up to this point, then we got separated. How the way could you get separated like that? Would you chill out? He's not a child. Maybe he met someone he knows and went somewhere. Why are you acting like this is nothing? You say we've been kidnapped. Guess what, Yubo? He needs a key. Why do you call your last name? You know, just call her Kita, whatever. Is this the only, uh, needs a key is the only one all worked up about this kidnapping thing. He disappeared all of a sudden, though. But she's really overreacting about this whole situation. I'm overreacting? Yikes, she's so always extra sensitive when anything's about you say. Extra sensitive? Me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know, we, freaking, you say just stood her up at the end of the That's it, that's why I'm here to sweep her up, soup her up, you know? Like, chicken, you say, if you don't want anything to do with her, I'll take her off your hands, oh boy. I mean, look at that, look at that. Mm. Mm. Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop the operating and go find you say. You too, you will. No slacking. Looks like Lady Luck hates you too, you See you later. <laughs> All right. So, uh, where we should, should we start? You say, where are you? Did you find anything over there, you? <sighs> oh, Crow is right, and nothing bad happened. But my intuition says otherwise. Okay. So, I, did I just come here just to do that? Oh, there he is. Wait, wait. Could that be you say? Yeah. Ha ha ha. Oh wow. She. <laughs> I. She, she's a hot piece of ass too. So. You say, what in the world are you? <laughs> hey, Kiza, you look awful. Is something wrong? Wow, awful? <laughs> wow, that is not something that you say to fucking a woman. Fucking, you say, terrible girl, shit. Awful? Girl said you got separated from one another, so I was worried about you. Oh, that? Well, actually, I was kidnapped. What? <laughs> to make a long story short, some members of a shady duel team grabbed me and tried to make me join their group. But I managed to escape. That's when I ran into each We ran into each other. Is that right? And you are? My name is Chevy LeBlanc. I thought you said and I would make a perfect team. So then, you're part of that team that adopted you say? No, no. It's a mere coincidence that you say was kidnapped and was, and we happened to cross paths. What a load of garbage! You expect me to believe that? Oh my God, the cat fight! <laughs> Tell each other's clothes off. No. <laughs> Don't worry, you can be trusted. You say? Sherry has nothing to do with those guys that adopted me. She'd never do that. How do you know she's... He he he. You and I have a special connection. We understand one another well. What? In a few moments, we spent together before you came. We forged a deep understanding. Maybe even deeper than yours, Akiza Inisuki. Ha! But you don't know a thing about you, say. Don't be so sure about that. Wow. Wow, this is about to be a cat fight. You say, so this is where you went. I see Inisuki and you were already found you. See, Nizuki, I told you it was silly to think he was kidnapped. He just fought. <laughs> no, it's not, because you weren't watching after him. What do you mean? I've had enough of this. It's time to duel. What, did I miss something? 
That means you, Crow, and you, Charlie LeBlanc. Perfectly fine by me. This is a tag duel. You will get ready to smash the both of them. Alright. <laughs> I mean, can I smash you and Sherry? You know, I don't want anything to do with Crow, but I'll smash both you two, you know. <laughs> right, I need to stop. This is getting terrible. This innuendos. <laughs> uh, you say, kid, tell me what's going on here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out after the duel. What is this, crazy land? Ready? Ready when you are. You will, let's duel. Alright. She's caught. <laughs> Nothing worse than a woman scoring, like, I just got wrapped up, I've literally been just standing here silently, and I'm just getting wrapped up in all of this, like, that's fine, alright, I'm fine with this, so. Wow. <laughs> it's salt, it's, she's so salty. Uh, Sherry and Carl versus me and Akiva, alright. Alright, she's just super salty. <laughs> me and Carl are just like, alright, I guess we're playing fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> So, maybe because he's mad, she'll do really great plays, I'm hoping. So this is definitely a story related duel. I don't think there's too many story related S duels. Wow, and that's your best play. When I thought that she was going to do better, I thought she was going to do better. Like, set glow up bulb and, and do your stars, whatever. Sacred Knight. This card is normal summon you can remove from play one light or your type. Wow, she's not even going to attack. Even though the funny thing is, she can actually get over our play, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and activate Pog Duality. Go ahead and see the next three cards. No, I don't really need you. You're just another monster. I don't need, really need another monster right now. But I'm going to be getting another monster. Which is fine. Which is fine. Alright. So I guess I'll take her. Because I already have a stronger enough feeder. I have fucking Harambe. Harambe's Revenge right here. So, so I'll just go ahead and summon Harambe's Revenge. And uh, just attack over your night guy. With my 2000 beater. Like, it just sucks that if he's turning defense mode. Oh shit, she has honest. Oh shit. Yep, I am dead. I, that is one dead Harambe. Rip, rip Harambe right there. Um, I kind of want to set this too, just in case. But I have a feeling that Crow might have a storm. But like I said, the Kiza's card is so fucking shitty, that doesn't even fucking matter. Like, wow, I got hit with that honest real hard. Hopefully we don't lose this duel, but, you know, that was definitely my fucking weakness right there. Okay. Sync our summoning time? We're just gonna leave it like that. Yep, sync. Yep. Armed wing? Why did it have to be Crow? Fuck Crow. Like, she already wants to fucking kill Sherry. Because she's fucking salty as shit. And I want to fucking deal with Crow, because fuck Crow! Like, this is, just, this is just not a great duel for both of us. Yeah, you can get that shit out of here. But, of course, we're still going to take Pierce damage. What the fuck did that do? Alright, it's like one black and monster. Take damage equal to the attack. That's like a monster. Add it to your hand. Alright. So you're going to take 13 and add him back. It's fun. You even out and take damage, but more than, you know, who's gonna be taking damage? It ain't us right now. It's all this peers. Like, oh, that fucking honest stuff. Like, I gotta deal with Sherry who has honest, and I gotta deal with Crow who has fucking uh, clue. Like, fucking rip me. Both of them cards should be hit. <laughs> well, they were hit at a point. They're both on to one. I'm not sure what honest is at in this game, or clue at that matter. You know, of course, clue right now is at three, and honest is at two. You know, OCG is at three, but all right. No, that's not a terrible play as long as they don't have anything to stop the game of plan. If they have an answer, then we're in some deep shit. Wonder Clover. Take one phase of monster control and one level four or lower plant monster from your graveyard. This turn selected monster can attack by it. Okay, so get the plant can attack twice. Yeah, he's a she, she's an angry spot. Like I said, Crow might have something. No, nope. all right, awesome. Awesome. I'm glad he didn't have something. If he had something, we'd be in deep shit. I can't, can't wait to end her death, you know, because uh, if we could put, like, more of that line. Wonder Clover's not terrible. It really isn't, you know? You know? At least make her Giga Plants and stuff attack twice. Wow, that's already her Destiny draw? Shit. <laughs> what is her deck? I don't even remember what her deck is. Like, I really don't. Alright. Another one of her fucking Shield Bear guys. In this card, normally you can move play one light monster from your graveyard to draw a card. 
I mean, this is this is straight up plot, so no complaints there. Oh. It's not the greatest uh, the beginning of the game, but later in the game, I mean, that's a fine fight. You know. Um, I said I guess I'll just go ahead and summon my bear, and then hopefully not get hit with almonds this time. Like I said, I don't know what it's at in this game, but. Say, you got another on us? Attack, take that, and that's uh, 25, so if I declare an attack and activate Metamorph, Metamorph, that should be game? Should. It's not, Trap's done. Alright. Awesome. Alright, that's fun. So, you guys got 100 life points left. I want to go ahead and quick get that 300 boost, but you're like, nah. Like, alright. Alright, uh, not game yet. You guys got 100 life points, what you got? It's Crow's turn. And I believe you already used the Destiny draw, so it's not like you can use it too. Alright, cards, move from play, uh, but you can't... You can't put something during turn, you activate this card, so at least I don't have to worry about you doing anything too crazy, if you can't special summon. Are you just gonna take it slow? Yep. So is that game? Do we got it? Do me and Akiza got it? Like, fuck both of you. I don't my, I like Yusei. You know? Yusei, it's, as of right now, my favorite uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist. Like, so Yusaku? Mmm! You know, I, I need to see what that, but I like Yusaku. Yusaku? It's, right now, it's between Yusaku and Yusei. And, like I said, it, they, uh, brains just got started, but I like, I like Yusaku. Wow, wow, she is not fucking around. She is not fucking around. So if I were to that deck, I'd definitely put more of that knight, because, you know, that knight summons a level 4, and then there's, there's Black Rose right there, you know, so. You better not blow up the field. Yeah, I would say you're just going to attack. You're not even going to use your effect to uh, turn that shit to attack mode? Nope. Okay. Game? God damn. Keys is not fucking around. She's so salty. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay! Well, you feed her fucking, her fucking rival and fucking crow. Fuck you, crow. I don't give a fuck. Like, I, we got wrapped in this, but I don't like you, so. Fix look the other way. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, winning a duel is blah, blah, blah. Alright. Yeah, we win. GG. So, that story event, like I said, I wonder if it was scripted. I think it's scripted for Akiza. Because we're Akiza's partner. Because it seemed. Two, you know, you know. We won! How does that feel, huh? Impressive. Both of you and Yubo are good. Pretty good. But still, it's not like we are playing when I get to Yusei or something silly like that. It's completely up to Yusei which of us he wants to pair up with. Is that what this is all about? Yusei, you are some ladies, man. No, that's not it at all. That's right. Nobody ever brought that up. <laughs> I was just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha! It's so cute how sensitive you get. Sensitive? Bye for now, you say. Let's get together soon. <laughs> sure. <laughs> As for you, a duel can teach you an awful lot. Just in a few turns, even. A duel can teach me? <laughs> You're funny. Hope to see you again sometime, Akize Nisuki. <laughs> a duel can teach me things. Is she saying these things I don't know about you, say, and about myself yet? Hmm. Oh, I'm fine, you I don't care about her silly advice. Thanks for being there for me today. We had a great duel because of you. Alright, and you see, I got her second heart. So, yay, I got her second heart. And I'm not with her anymore. So, I guess I can just go ahead and, uh, for now, there's already 15, 14 minutes in this video. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the downtown district, get one duel in, maybe two, just to get some points and buy some packs. Simple as that, you know. So... Uh, Gary, fuck you, Gary. I actually lost to you. So I might actually duel you, Gary, because I want revenge. I want revenge because apparently we lost to you. I remember us losing to you in a fucking tag duel. So the thing is, is that I gotta find Akiza again and then, you know, you know, get her second heart full, second and third heart full. I said, I'm not sure if anything happened to that second heart, but you saw that there was another heart there. You know, we got her first heart full all the way, and I believe we gotta get three or four hearts to be able to edit her deck, and definitely wanna edit her Ganondem deck. She has some good cards, but there's a lot of cards that are just crap, especially some of her traps. Like, the, the, the Wall of Thorns, pretty good, but 
like that one card is like, oh, you summon from the graveyard and shit like that. Like, you know, who cares, you know? Like, really, who cares? So, I'm gonna go ahead and summon my bear. I'm gonna go ahead and set the metamorph. And I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. So, uh, I can make something very, very powerful. You can already see that my deck is already looking like some kinds of power, you know? Yeah, he's already going on defensive. Alright, set two. Hmm. I'm gonna do this play because it actually doesn't, you know, uh, neg me. Like this card, right, if I get more of him, I'll probably put more of him in there because, you know, it's, well, that a beater, one for one, pop back row, you know? So he even now, but this is just a straight up plus. I can't attack with her, but hey, at least I pop him. What were you again? You were that union guy. Why did we lose to you? I don't remember why we lost to you. I really don't. So, for now, I'll just, I'll, I guess I'll just go ahead and attack. But it seems like I'll probably be able to attack over you. Yep. Why did we lose to you? I think it was the, the attack partner. I think she was playing like Naturia and she got strong beaters with her freaking uh, filled spell. You know? So, I think that's why we lost. So, of course, Lila still still hard to take because, um, you know, I'm sitting here milling and I don't want to do that, but, you know, I get to pop back row for pretty much free, you know, and I'm totally fine with popping back row for free. Alright, so, Valhalla, we'll go ahead and special summon, I still don't understand how we lost to you, unless we're using a different deck. Because right now, you are playing this fucking paper airplane fucking deck. Like, what is this? You know? Wow, another Lila. The thing is, I, I could keep doing it. I could keep fucking going Lila pop, Lila turn, pop, Lila pop, Lila turn, Lila pop, you know? But I won't... The, the issue with that is that I won't get anywhere with that, you know? And I'll be milling a lot. You know? It's times like this, so I'm just like, hey, I would like heavy storm. Nah, damn. He's like, nah, some judgment. Like, okay. That's fine. You can have that damn more than I have. Uh. No, nah, just attack your fucking paper airplane guy. I seriously do not understand how we lost to you. Like I said, I believe you were tied with that one Nuturia girl. And she had some powerful shit. So next turn, Lila can actually go up to, oh wow, you play Solemn, and cut your life from the head, and then do the Destiny Draw? What kind of BS is that? How is that fucking fair? You're the one who fucking did damage to yourself, not me. <sighs> Alright, so like I said, Lila can go ahead and go to attack mode, and then I'm gonna use her effect, go back to defense mode, and pop that other piece of back row. This one. Wow, that was all that it was. And can I end this duel? I believe I can. If I summon Lila, pop the other back row, as I said, I don't believe it's anything, but still pop it anyway. Uh, then I equip my bear with both of these equip spells, the fucking axe, which will boost him by a thousand, and mage power boost him by, you know, a whopping, what, two thousand? Like, that should be game, my boy. You can already see how my deck, how my deck is working right now, so... So what am I at right now? 29? Yeah, and then mage power. I said just in case it was something to stop me. The Lila, I mean, dude, they're popping, back row popping. Yep, 4,900. Let's go. And what's the fucking bear? Game? Thanks for cutting your life once in half for me so I can just go ahead and do all that damage to you. Wow, you didn't even touch me, my boy. Like, god damn. Like, I'm getting, I'm getting my fucking revenge. I beat you in like two minutes, like... Let's go. Give me, my, give me my fucking points, my boy. Give me my fucking points. Like, wow. Uh, run it back one more time, my boy. And then, uh, I should have enough points to go ahead and, uh, buy some more packs. Which is definitely what I want to do, is buy some more packs. Because <laughs> that, uh, that Beast King Barbaros pack, there's a lot more cards in there that I would like to get. Uh, but say, like, do I want to go first? Like, I do want to go first, because I get the sixth draw. Like, I... Because I get the sixth draw, I'm, not, I'm gonna be naturally having advantage, but I want to attack first, so. If this was, you know, New Age Yu Gi Oh!, then definitely I would win second, because I'm, you know. 
but because just because I get to draw that sixth card going first before they did that change. So we're still running 20 monsters, you know. So yeah, 20 monsters seems like I keep a nice chunk of getting monsters and um, and back row. Yeah. Alright, so use that, summon him. Are you actually gonna do something in this duel? Nah, it doesn't really look like it. And I gotta, besides, besides Solemn Judgment, there was really no back row that was actually threatening. So, you know, I'm gonna take this duel a little bit differently than I did last duel. I'm actually going to overextend a little bit, despite his back row. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip this to my bear. My bear's gonna go to a whopping 2900, and you can already see, you know? So, you go ahead and attack you. As long as you don't have Mirror Force, I hope you don't have Mirror Force. You have MST, though. Okay, so, um, you're gonna go ahead and destroy my mage power? That's fine. That's fine. I'm still a 19 beater, so. Was, all right, as long as it's not Mirror Force. If it was Mirror Force, I'd been like, fuck, you know? But now we're good. Damage condenser. Yep. Wow, this card is rewarding. Some Hecatrice. Okay, what the fuck does that do, though? Like, Hecatrice really only does something while in your hand. If you want to go ahead and summon that and do something with it, I have no idea what you're going to do with it, though. You can go to defense. Alright, awesome. Awesome, Gary. You're, you're doing great. Go. Oh, I can just go ahead and actually summon my... I think I only have one of him, though. That's the thing. I only have one of him, and in both duels, I already drawn him to be able to just discard the pop back row. Pop that one. Why not? Rush. Okay. Sure. Yeah, there's a... You know what? You probably should have kept... If you would have kept him in attack mode, you might have been able to get me with that rush, you know? But because you switched him to defense mode, now I could just, you know, run you over. I said, the cards like a mirror force or something. And even if it's another damage condenser, you don't have anything in your hand to discard. So, fucking Gary, you're just getting wrecked, dude. You're just getting wrecked, my boy. I believe there's only like eight traps in this deck now, so there's a lot more spells. So, this guy right here, like I said, he's not the worst. He's not the best, but he's not the worst. You know, I have extra spells that aren't really doing anything. Pitch it, pop some background, you know. So, go ahead and use the skin condition. Go ahead and banish those, because you don't need them. And, uh, Gary, you're on the ropes yet again. I'm gonna beat you in another, like, one to two minutes again. Ah, Destiny draw time. If I remember correctly, your Destiny draws a monster, I believe? No, it's a back row. It's a back row. I think it's your Union Trap card. Yeah, it's a Union Trap card. Fucking go to the library and get a book called Gary and fucking wreck his ass. Like, hello? Alright, that should be game, my boy. I said I could use my fucking Chrome Mage. This is another thing that's good about Chrome Mage is that he. Oh, never mind. I say it's only for turn. I say is he once per turn? Like no, shouldn't be. I could be able to just discard and pop as many as I want, but hey. All right, game. But once again, I'm just beating you. Like this is easy, easy points, my boy. I got a lot less points though. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna run that back one more time because I want enough points to buy a lot, and like I said. I want to make sure it's definitive that I beat you, because you beat me once, and that tag duel, because of your tag partner. But you, Gary, like, God, like, I, I don't know what deck you're right. I don't. I don't, I, I'm waiting for you to actually, like, do something great. But you haven't done shit. I said the best thing you've done is Solemn Judgment. And I have a Solemn Judgment, too, so. Alright. So I still need more Beast King. So we'll go ahead and activate Polyduality. So my deck is looking pretty good right now. We're getting Chalice, Polyduality, or Lightning Vortex. Uh, Polyduality. Because I can play it again next turn. You know, if I don't plan on doing anything, like, and this deck is not that bad. Usually you don't want to get Polyduality because you want a special summon, but me, not really. Um, yeah, leave it like that. Go ahead. I got the skill drain. But I, I don't really, I don't special summon at all, I don't think. So, you know, 
Check the door slow. Mm hmm. Sure, I'll blind space. Why not? You want to solve that? Go ahead, my boy. Damage conductor or something like that. Warning. Dead. Nice MST. Alright. I'll do it again. A judgment. Bottomless. Mirror Force. Wow, those are all really great traps. So that definitely something judgment. Alright, we'll go ahead and Kaiku. Kaiku attack. Like I said, these so two two cut two 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 like they're all oh my I I never really thought about they're super old Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I don't even know what they really do. No, nope, I thought maybe it'd be a damage condenser, but nope. All right, so I set these two pieces of background and I'm done. Come on, Gary. Like, Gary, did you play this deck before? I feel like even despite how great your tag partner would be, I still understand how we lost to you and her. Because you are just sucking butt. Wow, the moment when you special someone the honest that you should definitely save. I say, Gary, if you return that honest to your hand, I would say, if you did that, I would kick your ass. Like, <laughs> and I don't mean in a duel. I mean, literally, kick your ass. Solemn judgment? Nah, you can have that. That's what I'm at. Because I could solemn you, solemn. And I was thinking that, that would might happen. Like, actually, if I would have solemned your solemn, I think that would have been game. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do the math. Uh, actually I actually have to activate Forbidden Chalice on this attack because I'm actually not strong enough to get over that 19 booty. I actually forgot that Honest had such a big old booty. So I'll just go up to 22 and stack over you. Now if this Metamorph Metamorph was ready. Yeah. Uh, if I if I would have if I would have summoned your summon, actually, that actually would have been game. Rip, rip on me. Should have did the math. Good job, Daniel. You had one fucking job and you fucked it up. Destiny draw? Yep, go ahead and Destiny draw your fucking Union Trap card. Like, Gary, you fucking suck, dude. You fucking suck. Mm hmm. Uh, I have skill drain. That, that would have been annoying, but I have skill drain, so. Alright. Alright, oh, this is it, Gary. I, like I said, I have skill drain. So, you actually did damage to me this time. You actually did damage to me because I did damage to myself. So, you can just get that fucking. Nope, oh, keep it a short battle. Like, no, get off my field, tag game. Give me more points, and we'll go to the store, buy, open some packs, and then I'm gonna call it a uh, video. Wow, every time I duel you, I get less and less because I think you're crap. You're not even worth the points to fucking duel. But you know what? At least I got enough points to buy a couple packs. I'm going to have to start buying some more uh, gifts and shit because I got to get on Keith's good side again. No, you're sold out of my pack? You bitch. You bitch. Like, I, don't, I don't even want anything. I'm No, I'm going to save my points. Like That's the pack I wanted. You're oh, I'm sold out. Like, fuck you, asshole. All right, I'm done. So we'll just save our points for next time. We'll look for Akiza, get on her good side, get that second heart, see if there's something with that. I mean, start saving points so I can buy gift, but you already know. She likes fruit. I know she likes fruit. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play and Yu-Gi-Oh! Attack for 5. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I will see you guys, um, next time with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Attack for 5, and of course, some more Yu-Gi-Oh! content tomorrow. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys uh, next time. Thanks for watching.